do we need workshop? Workshop is to develop the individual competence or participation within a specific well-defined area of need. Workshop is to emphasize the transfers and the application of new learning to provide for hands-on practice, for example, in the laboratory and support participants learning from one another. Workshop is to design to be highly interactive and the use of technology has a particular effect on workshop size. In understanding how workshop works, we need to understand the workshop strategies, for example, workshop planning, understanding motivation and culture in workshop design, workshop group learning, residential workshop, distance workshop and workshop evaluation. So first of all, let us focus on workshop planning. To understand workshop planning, we need to pay attention to the workshop models, elements of workshop planning, and as well as the ethical issues on workshop. And second, to understand the motivation and culture in workshop design, we need to be familiar with the four motivational conditions of the framework for workshop design that is establishing inclusion, developing attitude, enhancing meaning, and engineering competence. So for more information on workshop planning and understanding motivation and culture in workshop design, please watch Implementing Workshop Strategies Part 1 from the video link above. The next strategy is group learning. In group learning, we need to focus on the characteristics of effective group learning, for example, whether it is a small or large group, whether the group is efficient or feeling or following the efficient group processes, whether the learning style of each member is identified, etc. For residential workshop strategy, we need to focus on the characteristics of residential workshop and processes. The characteristics of residential education, for example, participants' learning attitude, understanding concepts and appreciations. Residential workshop strategy also needs to focus on the educational format of a residential workshop. For more information on group learning and residential workshop and processes, watch my previous video on Implementing Workshop Strategies Part 2 from the video link above. The next final two workshop strategies are the distant workshop and the workshop evaluation. For distant workshop, we pay attention to how to reach the potential workshop participants and the guidelines. For workshop evaluation, we pay attention to types of evaluation used and the people who do the evaluation. For more information on distance workshop and workshop evaluation, please watch Implementing Workshop Strategies Part 3 from the video link above. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.